Hello internet friends, my name is Rich. Thank you so much for joining me uh, today at my little dog and pony uh, YouTube channel. Um, I do apologize, I'm not at my regular um, review station. Um, and by review station, I mean my wife's, uh, my wife's dresser. Uh, however, um, I, I didn't want to hesitate or wait uh, to, to do this video because I'm so excited I was able to find the newest uh, Star Wars Black Series wave. This is essentially wave two of the figures that are coming out in conjunction with The Last Jedi. Um, usually I, I go on a toy run on my lunch uh, and uh, usually they end in devastating disappointment. However, today was the day they were all worth it. I walked into Walmart and I saw uh, General Leia um, swinging from the pegs, and I was so excited, I knocked over a small child um, to get to them. And I'm kidding, of course. I, it was the small child's uh, elderly grandmother that I knocked over. And uh, I managed to snag uh, all the new figures uh, in this wave. There's also a repacked uh, AT-AT driver and Snowtrooper, um, but I already have uh, multiples of those. So I just wanted these new figures. So let's take a look. Uh, first off, we have Poe Dameron, the ultimate... Uh, cool big brother character. This is without a shadow of a doubt the best uh, six inch Poe Dameron we've gotten. Um, really, really good uh, sculpt. And the paint, the paint is usually the, the weakness of the Black Series. Pretty good paint, so great sculpt, good paint. I love that uh, resistance uh, uh, symbol on the side of his, uh, of his cool Besman Han Solo jacket. Um, really nice figure. Doesn't come with a lot of accessories, basically just the blaster. He does have a holster that fits in quite nicely and all the uh, normal Star Wars Black Series articulation. But after some of the bad uh, pose that we've gotten, and we've only gotten two, neither one of them were perfect, um, especially the X-Wing pose. There was a pose that came in a two-pack, that was pretty good, but you had to spend more because it was a, a two-pack. And, of course, the X-Wing Poe uh, figure, which had the horrible, horrible paint job. So, really, really nice figure. Um, I, I thought I would find him kind of boring um, because it's essentially what he wore a lot in, in uh, The Force Awakens. But it's such a, an improvement over those figures. And I just really, really dig it. I love this entire wave, uh, by the way. Uh, next, let's take a look at... Finn, very cool figure. This is Finn in a First Order Officer a Disguise. That's kind of a spoiler, I guess. Um, really nice figure. I, I didn't know if I was going to pick up a new Finn because essentially he wears almost the exact same outfit in The Last Jedi as he wears in, uh, in The Force Awakens. So I wasn't sure um, if I was going to pick up another Finn if it looked pretty much exactly the same. So I do like that they went with this uh, First Order Officer Disguise. Really, really like it. And I dig the fact that he has a removable hat. Um, so that is pretty cool. And it actually fits on really, really nice. So that looks really good. Comes with uh, a blaster. And he comes with this sort of, uh, I call it an anti-Jedi baton, which you also see in The Force Awakens. There was another baton that was made, again, in that Poe Dameron 2-pack with a Stormtrooper. Um, this one, however, is much more uh, screen accurate because these, uh, we'll call them pieces, um, they actually flip around the way it did in The Force Awakens. So that is really, really neat. So this is a much nicer looking baton. Um, and I know a lot of people will probably give this baton to a stormtrooper to have. So, again, I'm really surprised how much I like this figure. I love, I love the character of Finn. His action figures have been a little underwhelming. Um, but, yeah, this is super, super cool. Really happy with this guy. This is one of my favorite Black Series waves uh, of all time. Next, uh, let's take a look at Maz Kanata. Very, very cool figure. This is a figure we should, probably should have got um, with the first assortment of, uh, or, the, or the Black Series figures that came out with uh, The Force Awakens. Um, she's very tiny, yet she still has almost all the regular Black Series articulation. The arms look a little long, not when they're straight, oddly enough, but when they're bent, they look a little strange just because of where the joint is. Um, doesn't quite look anatomically correct. And her goggles, as far as I know, those are not removable. That is a bit of a bummer. If, if they were not going to be movable, I almost wish they were sculpted over her eyes. Because it seems like that's how she looked the most in, in the movie. But I could be wrong about that. 
Um, even though she is small, it does look good. It's, it's good articulation. She comes with my favorite accessory. It's the chest uh, that's at her castle where Ray finds Luke slash Anakin's lightsaber. That is awesome. This is a little warped because it's, it's not a real hinge. It's just sort of soft plastic, but you can shut it, um, which is cool. And it actually does go right on the latch. It's just hard to do with my big fat fingers. But uh, rest assured, you can shut the lid. Um, but it is a bit warped, so I might get a little bit of heat and fix that up. And again, you see a few more trinkets. And of course, the lightsaber goes right in there. So that is awesome. And here we have the, and I always uh, mispronounce this, the, Pretor Pre the Praetorian Guard which is obviously, of course, very reminiscent of the, uh, the Royal Guards. If I had one word to describe this uh, action figure, it would be texture. There's a lot of texture on this guy. Obviously, you have these kind of scallops or scales on his arms, uh, the, the arm armor. Um, he has these, it's not fabric, it's not leather, it's still just plastic, but it looks leather. It's very leathery, and I love sort of the... Uh, I don't know if you'd call that a sculpt, but it actually does look like a leather, sort of a leather piece here. And underneath, woohoo, um, his legs, you can see there's, again, a lot of texture on that. It almost feels like sandpaper. That's how many sculpted lines they have in there. Great figure. I like his weapon. Um, however, we do need to talk about the Bantha in the room, and that is his arm articulation. This is about as far as he can bend his arms, and that's a disappointment because it's hard to get him into any kind of, and I don't even just mean dynamic action poses, just try to have him just sort of standing there holding his weapon sort of at ease is very hard. Um, again, because of these, uh, these scale pieces on his arm, there's very little elbow articulation. So again, they, they kind of sacrificed articulation for um, accuracy, which is fine when it's something like a double, if he didn't have double jointed elbows, I'd be fine with that. But he barely has any any elbow movement at all. However, it, look, it still looks awesome. Whoops, sorry, Leia. Um, you know, the, the elbow, elbow articulation aside, still a great looking figure. And finally, I think the figure that I was most excited to get is uh, General Leia Organa. Love this figure. She doesn't come with a lot of accessories. She comes with that classic Leia blaster. Um, but I actually think this is a really good um, uh, Carrie Fisher sculpt from The Force Awakens. The paint could be better, obviously. Um, but the sculpt is definitely there. And the paint, uh, I think the paint is okay. The, the paint is pretty good. And that's better than a lot of Black Series figures we've gotten. The outfit is very accurate. This is the Leia I've been wanting from The Force Awakens. Um, this is the first, you know, true general Leia we got. There was a uh, Walmart three and a quarter scale black series Leia in her blue dress um, that she wears at the end of the film. But this is this is the one that I think most people wanted, the sort of general outfit. So I am super, super excited um, to have this figure. And honestly, all of the action figures in this line are great. Again, the, the biggest problem is the Praetorian Guard's uh, elbow articulation. Um, but otherwise, I am really, and I apologize for the blurriness there. There we go. I, I'm really happy with this, uh, this lineup of action figures. And I forgot to mention, uh, Maz also comes with a uh, resistance blaster. I don't remember her using a blaster at all in The Force Awakens. However, I never complain about an extra accessory. So um, that's fine. And finally, here is a setup that I have been wanting, whoops, I have been wanting to do uh, ever since they announced The Force Awakens. And it, of course, the sort of uh, original holy trinity of Star Wars. Uh, we have Jedi Master Luke, General Leia, and Han Solo. So, very happy um, that I can finally complete this setup. Very happy with this wave of, uh, of action figures. Even though I am a, sort of an original trilogy guy, those are the figures I like to get the most, the ones from the original trilogy. Um, I love the, uh, the sequels. Um, I love Force Awakens. I'm going to love The Last Jedi, I'm quite sure. And I really, really loved this uh, latest wave of Star Wars Black Series. So, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I hope I will see ya.